I recently made a video where I asked PC Pappy, traffic enforcement officer, what were his top three tickets he handed out in 2023. All right, three most common tickets. Top three were distracted driving, speeding, and red lights. I know those are expensive. What about demerit points? All of them carry demerit points. All right, thanks for all you do, officer. I wanna dig into his answers a little bit deeper and maybe answer some of your questions. The first one is red lights. Watch this and I'll explain. Serious question here. If you don't stop at a red light, what's the fine? $325, three demerit points. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So something important about red lights. It's considered running a red light when the light turns red before your vehicle crosses the white line at the intersection. Here's another video about turning red at red lights. Another serious question regarding the red lights, okay? I approach an intersection, I wanna make a right-hand turn at a red light. There's no cars around, what do I gotta do? Still have to make a complete stop. You stop, turn right safely, it's $325, fine, same, and still three points. Thanks, officer. You're welcome. We also made a video explaining that people can be charged for going through yellow lights at intersections. Here's that video. Hey, listen, some cop told me you could actually get a ticket for going through a yellow light. Is this true? Yes, you're required to stop at amber lights. Yeah, okay, but everybody speeds up to try to make it through before the light turns red. You have to stop for that? If it's safe to do so, you come to a stop. Okay, well, what's the fine for speeding up anyways? What's the fine for this? The penalty is $185, three demerit points. All right, thanks, officer. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Drive safe. Stop with those lights. Okay, so you as a driver, you have to make that determination if it's safe to proceed when the light turns yellow. That's up to you. However, if you start accelerating and you get past that white line and then the light turns red, you can still be charged for going through that yellow. Okay, the next is distracted driving. Watch this. Okay, oh. question about cell phone use. Can I use my cell phone when I'm driving? Can I use your cell phone? Can't hold or use a cell phone while operating a vehicle. How much is the fine? $615, carries three demerit points and a three day license suspension upon conviction. Okay, what if I'm at a red light? No, you can't use it or hold what it. What if I'm stopped in traffic? No. Same fine? Same fine. Thank you, officer. You're welcome. All right, most people have an issue with this, but just know that the charge revolves around the wording of handheld communication device which is basically why doing other things in your vehicle is not considered distracted driving. If your hands aren't free, it's not hands free. All right, the next is speeding. Here we go. Hey officer, I see you're doing some speed enforcement here. I'm trying to. Okay, listen, how fast can I go over the limit before I get a speeding ticket? Well, it's speeding is speeding at one kilometer over the speed limit. Okay, what if I'm on a busy highway? It's fast, you can be everybody's over doing for like any speed over the limit. Okay, everybody's doing 30 over the limit. Can I still get a ticket? Yes, you can. <laughs> Don't worry about what everyone else is doing. You focus on your driving safe. All right, thanks. All right, most of the comments with this video had to do with going with the flow of traffic, okay? If there's if it's a 100 kilometer an hour zone and everybody around you is going 130 kilometers an hour, then you should be able to go 130 kilometers an hour. Basically, if it's a 100 kilometer an hour zone in the city and it's rush hour and everybody's only going 40, 50, then you shouldn't be doing 100 kilometers an hour. Most people want to use it for the wrong reasons. So we actually uh, we did a, a video on excessive driving, sorry, excessive speeding and stunt driving. Here it is. Is that what that guy did? Yes, the driver was charged with stunt driving, excessive speed. To be exact, for this driver, it was 120 kilometers an hour in a 40 kilometer an hour zone. So what happens with his driver's license in the car? Does he lose it? The license is suspended for 30 days automatic, and the vehicle is impounded for 14 days. It's not his car, though. He borrowed it. It's his brother's. Regardless who the owner is, the vehicle will be impounded for 14 days. It's the law. It doesn't seem fair. What's the penalty for stunt driving? Fines could be between two and ten thousand dollars, imprisonment possibilities, and six demerit points upon conviction. All right, is there anything we can do to get out of this? Speed kills. Slow down. Thanks, officer. So, fifty over the limit and above is considered stunt driving. You'll be charged. Your vehicle will be towed, etc. Now, before I finish, I just want to mention that carjackings are on the rise everywhere in North America. Uh, always be aware of your surroundings. Keep your doors locked if you're in a parking lot. Look after one another and perhaps we will see you again.